All right, now moving over to the MLB. We got game six of the World Series. We're back in Minute Maid Park. That's the, the home park of the Houston Astros. If you didn't know, tonight at 8.09 p.m. on Fox. Right now, Vegas got Houston as the favorite to win tonight. The starting pitches is Matt Freed for the for the Braves and Luis Garcia for the Rock uh, for the Astros. I'm sorry. So with the background there, Jay, what we got tonight? Ooh, well, we got uh we got Houston. Uh, you know they get down three one based off you know a, a game four uh, a crushing loss in which they were up two one. Uh, they give up two back to back home runs in the seventh, I believe it was. Christian Javier giving those up. And I think that was really uh, that was really a crushing blow. You got to give them credit though. In Game Five, they get down four nothing, courtesy of an Adam Duvall grand slam. Uh, they able to rally, eventually win that game nine five to get this series back to Houston. Um, they did use up a lot of bullets um, out of that bullpen. You had Ho Jose Arquiti come out in a, for an inning in relief. I I'm guessing uh, Dusty Baker just felt like he had. He, he, listen, you got to do everything when you're facing elimination. You got to win. You got to do everything to win the game that's in front of you at that particular moment in time. Um, but that that has it. I'm guessing that has messed with his rotation just a little bit. Now Luis Garcia, the young gun, he's coming. He's going to be pitching on short rest. Um, so, and this is a guy who I think has already surpassed everyone's expectations with uh, how many innings he's thrown uh, this season in his rookie season. So that's going to be something to watch out for. How much depth can he give you? Uh, could be a the, the good the good news is you are coming off a day off bullpen should be fairly rested you didn't use Ryan Presley in game five um, and Max Free is going for the Braves uh, Max Free got a lot of respect for him, what he brings to the table but um, if you listen to John Smoltz who does a fantastic job you know analyzing the game on Fox uh, he was making the point that one of the things Max Free likes to do against right-handed uh, uh, right-handed hitters is really get the ball throw the throw the fastball on the inside part of the plate to right-handed batters. And that's what Houston does well when you talk about Correa, when you talk about Bregman and Altuve. These guys, they hit they hit inside fastballs very well. And that's kind of what came to fruition, especially in that four-run second inning with also Guriel with Maldonado. Um, so um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come down again to, you know, which team I think can, can get some confidence early. Typically, the team that's, uh, that gets out and jumps out uh, first wins. Uh, especially if they're able to beat, the, beat uh, get a sizable lead. Um, the big thing for Houston that they did in game five, they finally came through with some clutch hits with runners in scoring position. In games three and four, they were a combined 0 for 10, including I think they were uh, 0 for 8 in game four, if I'm not mistaken. So in game five, they turned it around. They went five for 15. That was a huge deal. Um, they got to ride that momentum tonight. The, the home crowd should be juiced. It should be a great atmosphere. Um, I think it is an uphill battle. I think even if they win this game, it's going to be an even tougher task tomorrow, not, uh, tomorrow night because they'll likely be going against uh, Ian Anderson, who was really good um, in game three. Um, so, But I, I, I'm, of course, sticking with Houston. I'm going to be stubborn. I had him in six. I can only get him in seven now. But um, listen, I think, I think it would just be wrong to count Houston out at this point. Um, I think this is one last span, one last stand for this core group of guys, especially Carlos Correa. He's likely leaving in free agency. Um, but of course, they win tonight. They give themselves a shot tomorrow. And uh, ultimately, I think it done. I think it's a, a storybook comeback. I really do. All right. And, and, and on that note, I will say I, I think Houston do win tonight. I, I think Houston win. We get a game seven and then we get, you know, game seven for all the marbles. And here's the deal. Like I said in the intro, um, we're going back to Minute Maid Park. And I, I think Houston Houston going to show us that we're back in Houston. Uh, like you said, Matt Freed, he don't um, exude the most confidence in me. Um, I think Houston going to get some hits off him. I'm, I'm looking at a high-scoring affair. I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if one team break double digits and the other ones, you know, get close. Like, I'm for some reason, I feel like this might be a, you know, 10-8 game or something to that effect. Um, I think we're going to get some runs scored tonight. Um, and Houston will I, – I, the reason I feel like Houston will win is an elimination game for Houston. I, I think they're going to come out and they're going to show faith and – they're going to make it a game seven. Houston going to be back more comfortable. They're back to their, their league rules so they can play the way they want to play. Not to say that hurts Atlanta, 
because uh, you know Atlanta they when they adjust their roster to the to to the um American League rules, I mean the, the guy so low don't look like he got that much of a problem with it. Um, so all in all, I think we're gonna get a good game tonight. Game six on Fox 809. Make sure you tune in. I think it's gonna be a riveting one, and I can't wait to see the action.